Hello and welcome to Xenonauts. Um, before I get into this game, I just want to get this out of the way. Uh, I've already started to uh, record some Silent Hunter 3, so that's coming up pretty soon. Uh, it's been a while since I last played it, so uh, I've done a couple of recordings. Uh, so yeah, it's coming up soon, so... Uh, Keep looking. Uh, keep looking for that, or keep your eyes open, I should say. Keep looking. Keep your eyes open for that. So now I'm gonna get into uh, Xenonauts, which is a basically a carbon copy of the old XCOM game. Um, but it's not set in the future, it's set in 1979, so in the Cold War. So it's a bit more based on real world, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna play this on Veteran. Uh, if you haven't played the XCOM, the old XCOM, or this game, uh, this is uh, quite a punishing game uh, and can be pretty frustrating, but you just have to go with the flow. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna place down a base. So uh, since the alien invasion is known, uh, this uh, I want to say the XCOM project, but uh, anyway, you get funding uh, from all different parts of the world uh, for countering the aliens. Um, the United States gives you the most, I believe. Uh, yeah, uh, four hundred forty-eight thousand dollars, but Europe gives you two hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars, and Russia gives you four hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars. So kind of want to cover both uh, Europe and Russia if you can. I think I'm also going to cover a bit of Africa, so that's 200,000 more uh, in funding. Uh, and funding is quite important. So I guess... Let's put it about... You can actually zoom in, so... Right about uh, there. Okay, there we go. We're not gonna call it the Soviet Union, we're gonna call it something original, like uh, Base 1. See, that's uh, real original. Uh, this is our base we have right now. Uh, we have four hangars, uh, two of which uh, are housing two interceptors. They look like F-16s. They're not called that, but they are F-16s. Uh, we have our land craft, which is basically a modified uh, Chinook uh, helicopter. And we've got some other stuff. Uh, laboratory, man center, uh, workshop, storerooms, uh, living quarters, and we got an, a radar array. And you can also see uh, personnel capacity, research capacity, uh, all kinds of stuff. We have 10 soldiers, 10 scientists, and 10 engineers. This is our monthly maintenance. So we have a maintenance cost right now of $650,000 a month. Uh, we have one and a half million dollars for uh, for funds. Uh, what we're going to do right off the bat is to build another... I think you can turn this, can't you? Can you not? Oh, maybe you do it like this. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Almost got it. There we go. So let's put a another living quarters there. It's gonna take five days. Um, and we are also going to get a medical center. That's gonna speed up the recovery of uh, your soldiers if they get injured. We have uh, research. We are the we are researching the alien invasion, which is like the starting research. Um, so we're gonna get a, a couple of other things, so we're gonna get a lot of things here we can research later. Here's the workshop, we can uh, uh, build stuff, uh, nothing now though. And we got a storeroom where we'll store uh, different materials and stuff like that we get through making or doing missions. And here we are, this is, uh, well, I guess the one of the most important things in the game and is our soldiers uh, of which we have 10 
uh, but we can only bring eight with us on any given mission. Uh, so there's a couple of stats. Uh, TUS is time units, which uh, governs how many actions you can take in a turn, because the game is turn-based. HPs is, of course, uh, uh, the health points, how much uh, damage they can take before they die. Uh, strength is uh, basically how much they can carry. Uh, accuracy is, of course, uh, how good they are at uh, hitting things with their guns. RFL is reflexes, which kind of um, it gives you opportunity shots uh, at moving targets, basically. Uh, something like that. And BRV is bravery, which is very important because if uh, squad mates die, other people might actually uh, uh, be, you know, panic. I think they also can get suppressed by it. Uh, so, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, they have roles, and these roles have been uh, uh, given by the game. The roles themselves really doesn't have an effect on the game. It only gives you a default equipment and it's more there to kind of remind you what kind of uh, role they have. So obviously the our sergeant here, Matei Vavra, has a 70 accuracy which is really really good. So he's uh, been designated as a sniper. So that's all good. Here we go to the equipment screen. Um, let's actually get our sniper up here, our sergeant. So, as you can see, he's been given some basic equipment. A uh, precision rifle. All guns have some uh, stats, uh, as you can see there. Um, so what we want to do, also, here is the carried weight. So, this uh, gray area is how much he can carry extra or total before uh, he starts having penalties to his time units, uh, which is something you really, really want to avoid. Um, time units are very important, as you will see. Uh, he has a flashbang, we'll get rid of that. He has a smoke grenade and a frag grenade. So he's not gonna be in close combat, but we're gonna give him a couple of extra magazines. He has a med pack, which is good that's okay he have basic armor we can get better armor as we progress through the game he's a sniper um, so yeah you can choose anything you want and you will be given the default equipment but you can add any weapons or equipment you want it doesn't really matter this is only oops it's only like uh, your own reminder of what you want them to do basically so you know oh he's a sniper he has good accuracy uh, you could add your new roles or your own roles i should say so we can uh, mess around with that if you want to here we have a assault an assault needs yeah bravery reflexes that's pretty important so uh let's uh let's remove two smoke grenades and add a should we add another frag uh, I think no I think we're pretty fine with that two frags two flashbangs might give her a smoke grenade but uh... hmm well let's go with a smoke grenade as well. We have another assault which uh, doesn't have good reflexes or bravery. Has good strength, accuracy and health. 64. Let's see. I'm jumping ahead here but I kind of want to see who has the most strength. So he has 60 in strength. You have 64, so I think I'm gonna you have this guy be a rocketeer, so he's gonna carry the rocket launcher with three extra rockets, and he has a pistol, we might add a extra magazine for him, and a frag grenade, that's always 
nice to have. So my question is, we have four rockets, one loaded and three extra, so I think that's enough. So I think that is all good. And we have a bog standard rifleman. He has pretty good strength. Uh, let's remove the flash bangs, keep a smoke grenade, and we're gonna add a couple of magazines. Four mags should be plenty for this mission at least. Um, might take another grenade, let's do that. And here's our other heavy weapon dude, or it's a girl, woman. Uh, and she's carrying the machine gun, which is uh, excellent at suppressing aliens and such. So I'm gonna ha grab another magazine. I don't know if she's... It's always good to have a frag grenade. Three reloads, four, yeah. So basically this 30 means that when she's firing uh, a burst, that's gonna use up 10 of these. So this is basically three bursts uh, before you have to reload. So uh, we got some extra, so I think that's enough. We might wanna give her a pistol. That might be going overweight. No, actually not. I removed that one. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, so we need to do this. Oh, it takes up a lot of space. Well, let's keep it in her uh, backpack then, I guess. As a backup weapon. Um, having stuff in the belt uh, means that it's quicker to reload. Uh, right, and we have another rifleman. Screw rid of the flashbangs. Um, add an extra grenade. And a couple of extra mags. That's fine. These first missions are not gonna be... Uh, I'm not gonna use up a lot of ammo. Uh, usually that's how it goes anyway. Let's get a crop crapple. Let's get a couple of extra mags and uh, an extra grenade. There are incendiary grenades as well, but... That makes things burn, uh, so there's destructible terrain in this game, and also uh, let's give him a couple of extra mags and an extra frag grenade. Um, so you can uh, set grass and stuff on fire, which could be good and it can be bad. So anyway, here we go. These are eight soldiers uh, that are ready for action. We have two unassigned. These are basically reserve. Uh, because we're probably gonna lose a lot of soldiers. That's uh, par for the course for this game, is losing soldiers. So uh, here we can set how we want our soldiers to their starting position once we land in a mission area. So uh, we don't want a sniper over there. Let's put the sniper so he can look out this door. Uh, and I think let's put a rifleman at the other door. Don't want the shotgun in the front, so let's do our sergeant, machine gunner, another rifle, rifleman. Do we want to? Mm, let's put him there and him there, and let's have the salt dude here. Okay, so I think that's good for now. Here are our, um, our, our interceptors. They have sidewinder missiles and an autocan. So these are okay uh, for, you know, kind of low-level UFOs, which we will be shooting down. But uh, later UFOs uh, will need uh, we're going to need faster interceptors which is something you can uh, research but enough about that let's speed up time until something happens oh yeah down here you can see some events uh, that happen so they can have um, they can kind of tell you where where there's uh, 
UFO activity. So if there's a lot of activity in one area, then you know that that's where you need to go to uh, intercept and shoot them down. Uh, I'm wondering if I want to build a base right off the bat, but I think I'm going to do that once I get a, another interceptor. Oh, and here we go. This is our first UFO. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way down here in Africa. So let's see what he will do. He's coming this way. I might... No, he's going away. So my interceptors will not be able to... No, we made some crop circles. I think now we want to... Let's say intercepting. Let's send out Condor 1. Oh, here we go. This is good. So we're going to shoot him down over land. So I, here's a couple of things you can do. You can disengage, uh, you can engage, which, which means uh, that you kind of get into this mini game where you can control your fire yet as you like. I don't really like doing that, but sometimes it's necessary. Uh, you can also tail the target and kind of see where he goes. Um, or we can auto resolve. Uh, as we can see here, we'll get 100% victory, but um, our aircraft might get damaged, so it's kind of a gamble, but we'll guarantee, you know, there's it's a guarantee that we will shoot it down, which is what we want. So we use some fuel and some ammo, but he was not damaged, uh, our intercept interceptor, that is. So let's return him to base, and we got our first mission, which is the crash site. And we're gonna go there straight away because we don't want to have a night mission. Well, night's pretty far away, so we'll be okay. Night missions are not fun. We got another UFO. Uh, he's also down in Africa. We'll deal with him later, I think. Yeah, let's do this mission first. So, let's load into our first mission and see how many soldiers we will lose. Oh man, I forgot. I should have uh, ordered or hired uh, more soldiers. That was bad. Oh well. So here we are, uh, on ground. Here's our soldiers. Uh, we got a civilian right here. Seems like we're in the corner of the map, so we don't really have to worry about any aliens from this direction. It's not a uh, guarantee though. Let's see what our rifleman can see. He can see another, he can see an armed civilian. Let's move him forward just a bit so he can look around. Uh, keep your eyes peeled, I guess, over here. Our sniper won't be much help standing in the doorway over here, but we can have him move out this way. We might as well check our backs and move up here. Let's move in up one more step. So everything you do is cost you time units. Um, so he has 19 time units left. Um, I'm gonna crouch him, that makes you harder to hit, um, and also when looking around, I don't want to kind of do it now, oh well I might, well just as well, so if I click here so he's looking this direction, that also costs time units. So that's good, so let, let's have our machine gunner move up here, crouch, be ready for any aliens that might show up. Uh, where do I want you? Guess over here. Uh, I'm being quite cautious, which is... You really need to be cautious to be successful in this game. Uh, got another rifleman. Optimally, I would like them to be in cover. We could actually go over here. That might be a bad idea, but let's do it anyway. I saw another civilian. Oh, we got our first alien. And this isn't a standard alien. 
So we can do a couple of different shots. This time you can only do a snapshot. Hit percentage of 18%. That's not very good. So maybe... Let's actually have him crouch behind here so he will... So he doesn't get killed. Uh, let's have our assault. We'll keep our assault and our... Um, Rocketeer. We'll keep them inside the the landing or the helicopter for now. Let's see what the alien is gonna going to do. Oh shit! There's another one. Okay. So there you can see how easy it is to get killed. Basically, that's how easy my soldiers are going to die if they come under fire. So I know this alien went inside this building because I heard a door open. So can you shoot over here or are you blocked? No, you're blocked. So let's have him move up here and he might be able to get a re reaction shot. Um, yeah, that's fine. I think we want to keep our machine gunner. Let's have our machine gunner look this way as well. Let's move up our sniper to cover down here if we see anything more because there's another alien down here somewhere. I don't know what type of alien it is. You, I think... We stand you up. Can you see any further? No. Let's have him... keep him crouched for now. Could move our assault up here because there's they're pretty good with their shotgun, or the shotgun is pretty effective at killing stuff, but she doesn't have enough uh, time units for that to be successful, so let's not do that. Let's end our turn and see who will die. <laughs> oh shit, another civilian died. Uh, so you get extra points, or rather you get uh, penalized for civilians being killed in this case kind of don't kind of couldn't do much about it so our sniper move up crouch you see i'm very 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 careful so do i want my it's because of this guy the machine gunner She needs 48 for a burst. That's not too bad, actually. Let's put her over there. Well, that will go 14 time units if we place her over here. Uh, well, let's do it. I think she's gonna assault into here anyway. Go. So there's a crashed UFO somewhere. Uh, we don't know where. Somewhere in the darkness. Uh, but we're going to try to find it. So, uh, do I want to move my sniper? I just moved him, didn't I? Let's put him here anyway. No cover. That's uh, actually a very bad thing. So let's have our soldier move up to here. So we get some extra cover. Now the rocketeer. I wanna... I wanna... Let's keep him here and see if we can uh, possibly shoot at something. So there we go. Ooh, nice. So we got a, a reflex or opportunity shot there. And I actually hit the alien. So that's good. So now we can gauge him. So can our sniper see him? Okay, so he's blocked a bit by the edge there, but we could get a an aimed shot. It's gonna cost 32 TUs. Well, let's do that. Hit percentage, 89%. Ooh, we actually hit. That's nice. Well, you can't shoot anything more with him. I think I want to fire a burst, or I might open up with my machine gunner. Because the good thing with machine guns... 
is that they will suppress. Yeah, let's do that. So now he's suppressed, so his, uh, the alien's time units are, um, are decreased, just as mine are, if my guys are suppressed. Let's fire a burst at him. Didn't do diddly squat, so let's do a snapshot. Nope. Uh, so let's see what this rifleman can do. Let's do an aim shot, I think. Guess firing bursts are usually the best option, but mm. yeah, let's do a burst. Oh, nice! So we killed our first alien. That's very, very nice. Now this is gonna be a bitch. Um, let's keep that guy right there and move this guy see I don't know if there's a way of looking inside this building from over here well it doesn't appear so so that's good but he can uh... well let's go to the corner see if you can see anything more uh... okay so that's it for this turn I want you to be looking at the door there if somebody comes out of it. We know there's an alien inside this building somewhere, so... Uh, it's gonna be a bitch to try to assault him. Oh, there he is. Oh god. So I can do snapshots. Uh, I should be able to get two of them. So let's do that. Ooh. And boom! So that's actually very nice. Um, this is going great so far. Uh, so let's have you crouch. And now I think we might move this rifleman up. Have him take a peek. Can't see anything in there. Let's have a rocketeer move up. And down here, well, what are we going to do? Well, Let's move our rifleman up forward here. See if we can spot anything else. Does not appear so. So let's have him crouch down. Sniper. Um, I think yeah. Let's have our sniper move up as well. There we go. Crouch. Another rifleman, you can take cover behind this tree and crouch. And our machine gunner, we also want to move up. Uh, let's move him over here to this wall. Now, machine gunners can actually suppress your own uh, soldiers if they're close enough to. Uh, uh, the, when the machine gun fires, they're close to the fire, so that's something you have to. Be a bit mindful of. Let's move this guy a bit further up. Can't see much. We'll have our rocketeer here in the background for now. So I actually did hear a door there, a door on a UFO. So this is actually, yeah. So I'm guessing the UFO is in here because this is the edge of the map and. It won't fit here, I don't think. But that doesn't mean that there are no aliens there. There might be. They may be standing in a corner just waiting for you, so... Seems like this building is clear, so let's move. Uh, assault girl up here. And we'll have this rifleman... Oh, yeah, let's, let's get him up here and crouch. So we are slowly making our way to the UFO, which I, I'm pretty sure it's in this area, so you can actually jump over or go through the hedge. Let's have him go down here and crouch. 
Hoopster machine gun. Or Mrs. Machine gun. See, I don't know, there might be someone here, so I don't wanna... There's no good cover. I guess you can move over here. I think you have some cover. Oop, and uh, let's move our sniper down here as well. Now we got another rifleman. Maybe you can. Now let's move him up further than the others. A bit wary of this uh, this direction. There might be something there. Oh. That's fine for now. Now oh, this guy. Let's have him move up here. If you can, you don't want to waste all your time units. If at all possible. The less time units you have, or a soldier has, the less chance he has for uh, getting, getting a shot of opportunity. So let's crouch you down. The turn. Yeah, so I hear an alien uh, opening and closing a door to the UFO, which is something they do. Uh, let's move you up here. Now I can't see what's behind these hedges, but there's a cornfield here or whatever. Let's have you crouch down over there. Or sniper. That's a good position. Let's have our sniper move up here. So the question is... Uh, we'll have 40 time units left from that. Uh, okay, let's move him over here. See if we can uh, get a better view, and we can. Let's crouch him down, get the assault up here. Why does she have so few time units though? I don't know. Uh, this is a machine gun. I think we want to move her up as quickly as possible in case we do get some, an alien contact over here. Crouch you down. Uh, Mr. Rocketeer. I'm gonna keep him a bit behind everyone because, uh, well, he doesn't really have a close combat weapon. He has his pistol, but I kind of don't want to switch to that one right now. So let's move you up here. Take a peek. A peek ski. Yeah, there might be someone in here as well, so you have to be really careful. Okay, no one's there. Let's crouch down. Hopefully this uh, building is not occupied by an alien. Um, I think that is it for this turn, so let's end it. Okay, okily dokily. Um, do I want to clear this place out? Actually, I think we should uh, focus on finding the UFO first, first of all. And then we can uh, worry about any remaining aliens. The mission will end automatically when all aliens are killed, so we'll know about that. I don't want to bunch them up too much. Let's move you down over here. Our machine gunner is here, that's good. Let's have our rifleman move up. Oh, he's not seeing much. Uh, what else? We have our assault, so let's have her move up as well. And another rifleman. Oh yeah, you spent your time in slow. Let's have our rocketeer move over here. And crouch. Always remember to crouch, kids. 
heavy moving to cover here. It'll only have cover from the sides, but that's fine for now. And uh, this episode has been going on for like 30 minutes or something, so I'm gonna end it right here. So uh, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm gonna do another episode, and uh, if you'd like to see some more of this, uh, please put it in the comments below. Uh, so yeah, see you next time.